Now, Pakistan is trying to make new friends with support from its iron brother, China. Islamabad is courting Colombo. The Pakistani air chief was in Sri Lanka last week. He met with Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa of Sri Lanka. And just before, this happened just before his visit to India. So what did the Pakistani air chief want? The Pakistani air force wants to, quote unquote, help Sri Lanka. They want to train the Sri Lankan Air Force. We don't know if Colombo has accepted the offer, but Prime Minister Rajapaksa has reportedly acknowledged, and I'm quoting again, Islamabad's unwavering support in any hour of need. So what's with this newfound friendship? Turns out it isn't new. And it did not happen just out of the blue. The Sri Lankan president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, has closed links to Pakistan. As Defence Secretary of Sri Lanka, more than a decade ago, he led the war against the LTTE. That's the time when he reportedly developed a relationship with the ISI. There are even reports of Pakistani pilots participating in airstrikes against the LTTE bases during the Sri Lankan civil war. Pakistan even deputed some of its army officers to Colombo. In fact, the Sri Lanka-Pakistan defense ties can be traced as far back as the 1970s. During the 1971 war, India had withdrawn the landing overflight rights to Pakistan. That's when Sri Lanka pitched in to help. Pakistan International Airlines was allowed to refuel in Colombo. This is 1971. And during this war, the Pakistani civilian and military aircraft landed multiple times at the Katunayake International Airport in Sri Lanka. Gotabaya Rajapaksa's Pakistan connection is also decades old, his personal connection. In the early 1970s, he was sent to Pakistan for an officer's training course. He was in the Lankan army. So he has seen the Pakistani military at close quarters and now Islamabad wants to leverage this connection. Pakistan also tried to sell the JF-17 Thunder jets to Sri Lanka. Now this is a low-cost multi-role fighter jet built jointly by China and Pakistan. An agreement was signed for eight jets, but Sri Lanka then backed out. Good sense prevailed, we say. Who? buys jets made by Pakistan. At that time, New Delhi had opposed this deal. India was concerned that if such an agreement happens, Pakistan and China could set up facilities in Sri Lanka. Now, it seems that Pakistan is trying to revive the defense cooperation in some way. New Delhi has not commented on the meetings yet.